Hello and welcome to our first impressions video of Majestic Poker Chips. These are available at ApachePokerChips.com. I ordered these for, what did I pay? About $40 for a set of 100. So that puts them right in the China Clay price range. And these are, these are China Clays, to be clear. However, we are going to start, as usual, with a little hand here. These are some plastic Kartmundi base cards. We're going to expedite shuffling here. Go ahead and grab two cards off your deck at home, and let's see how you do. The flop is nothing too scary. All right, well, that's, that'll be interesting. Leave a comment. Tell us what you have in the comments below. Plastic Cartmundi cards. You think they would have at least put a new design on there? These are going to be in money cards, so subscribe if you want to see more. So these majestic poker chips. Now, we need to clarify the position of these majestic poker chips, all right? Where do these stand compared to Paulson's? Well, they're not as nice as Paulson's, I can tell you right now. They do, however, have a nice feel. There's no metal insert. They are China clay, and the quality control, just looking at the stacks here, looks very reasonable. Let's have a look at these. I'm just going to stack these. The more, the merrier, right? Because we want to see little imperfections. I have four stacks of 25, and I had not noticed a significant thickness difference, unlike the old generation Milano. Supposedly, the Milanos are, they're working on... In, increasing tolerances or decreasing tolerances however you want to say it to get the milanos all the same thickness so let's see how they did with these majestics let's make sure that this is accurate millimeters all right and we are going to measure the thickness here 19.39 the 25s 19.66 six. 19.6766 six. so the 25s and the 100s are exact the 5s are the only ones that are a little bit thin and 19.58 all right so very close when it comes to tolerances this is late 2015 so this is one of the early batches of majestics so as far as thickness goes, pretty reasonable. Now let's do weight. Go ahead and pull this out. Let's see if we can get this on camera here and knock as much stuff over as we can. Comes <laughs> That's a must. All right. Grams. Let's just do a few 25s here. Right on, nine grams. Let's pull this one out from underneath here. We're just going to do three of each. Again, exactly nine. 8.6, 8.8, 8.5. Let's do the fives. These were a little bit thinner. Let's see if there's a weight difference. 9.1. Wow, one of the heavier ones, even though it was more thin. That's interesting. 8.9. And finally, 9.0. Wow, interesting. Right around the 9 gram mark. 8.9. And one of these. Is that right? 9.5? 9.4? Is that still zeroed? Yeah, it is. All right. Well, so quality control, you know, is actually pretty good for a China clay. I'm having a little bit of trouble <laughs> rating it above average. Let's see. 39.77 millimeters wide. That's closer to 40 millimeters in the 39 millimeter chip. Thickness seems, the width seems pretty good. So, overall, quality control is very reasonable. Now, how do I feel? <laughs> we are, next, after quality control, we always talk about materials. How do I feel about the China clay material? The China clay material is actually pretty good. I am pretty happy with it. Oh, but speaking of quality control, there is one thing I noticed. The inlays, okay, none of these are missing inlays. If you guys remember my next-gen video, some of the next-gens were missing inlays. 
but I did find a couple where the inlays kind of rode up on the edge lip here. And again, I use inlay, the term inlay loosely, they're actually stickers, but the sticker actually catches on this edge right here. And I, I have a picture of it. I'm not gonna go digging through all of these right now, but if you push down with your fingernail around the edges, sometimes there's some air there and it will actually crease the inlay. So just be aware that, you know, there are some little, little imperfections there. Is that enough for me to say that these are worse than any other China clay? No, that's just something that I've seen on all the China clays. If you remember my Milano video, some of the inlays were actually coming out of the recessed portion of the chip here. So it's all just information so you're aware of what you're getting into if you want to get into a set of these. I really like the look. If you, and you guys noticed here, there's no edge spot, edge mark progression. There is no inlay progression. So they're all going to be black other than the number, the number changes. So 1, 5, 25, and 100 in this case. You'll notice the dollar symbol here. For those of you that live in a country that do not use dollars, use pounds or euros or whatever else, that's not going to be pleasant. But I think this is geared for the American market. Obviously, it will easily be usable in Canada, other places that use the dollar sign. So quality, very average, high average, above average, however you want to rate it. Now, some other things about materials. Okay, China clay, they're durable. I mean, I haven't had any of these break. I try to break these, they don't break. I mean, if you took a hammer to them or a machete or shot them, yeah, they would probably break. But with China clays, you do get this odor. And anybody that's ever used Milano's know what I'm talking about. And this is one that I've cleaned off. And you can see how it's a little bit darker because it doesn't have this white factory powder on it. Let's see if I can get this to focus so you guys can see a little bit closer here. And so the one on the right here has been cleaned. I just used a wet wipe and wiped it down. This one right here and these other two right here have that white factory powder and it does, they do emit a little odor. Clean them off. Some people say if you oil them, um, I would just say play with them. And over time that smell decreases and it becomes less noticeable. So it's not, to me, it's not a make or break kind of an issue. It's just something that <laughs> you talk about the first few times you play with the chips. So I like the design. I'm happy with this new triangle design here. Um, my concerns realistically are, I don't, you know, I like the variety, all right? I'm glad there are multiple China clays out there. There are Pharaohs, the Majestics. There are actually a set of Dune China clay chips, the Milanos. I like that, that you, that we're get, they're giving the, the populace here in the United States a selection of chips that are, you know, have a nice China clay feel to them. My concern is, that these aren't bringing much more to the table than the Milano's. You see what I'm saying? If we had some edge progression, if we had some sharp edges, let me show you the edges here. They are rounded just like so many other China clay chips. Let's see if this will focus here. So you can see the little beveled edges, you know, right here. They're not sharp corners like Paulson's. Obviously this inlay is a sticker unlike a Paulson. So it's just not really fair to compare to a Paulson. I'm looking forward to when Paulson brings their chips back to the consumer market, the commercial market, so we can all enjoy that level of quality again. As far as I'm concerned, these are just another very reasonable option for China clays. If I had to choose between the Milanos, the Pharaohs, these, or the Dunes, I would probably choose the Pharaohs because you get that edge that edge mark progression through there and the design seems a little more interesting to me than just the same black stamp but i mean you know these are very elegant look and maybe i'm just not elegant enough or refined enough to choose these are the milanos but again recommendations aside i mean like my personal my personal preference aside like recommendations i would recommend the milanos because the milanos are readily available everywhere the majestics are kind of the china clay for somebody who wants something a little bit more uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Rare, a little bit more unique, something that's not going to be on everybody's poker table. Does that make sense? Oh, and they shuffle fine. I mean, you can see right here, they, they shuffle like any other China clay. They sound like any other China clay. They smell like any other China clay. So the design, you know, is lacking in uniqueness, but the elegance of having all the same inlay, that nice dark 
rich black inlay. It's just beautiful. I mean, an elegant, maybe not my style. So thanks for watching. These are the Majestics. I mean, I can't find anything wrong with them. Um, there's, you know, they're another option for China clays. If you like them, go get them. I mean, I can recommend these as far as like quality control and usability. Easy to read the numbers, easy to see the denominations, easy to distinguish the colors and the patterns here. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not a terrible chip. It's actually a really good chip. So hope that helps somebody out there. Leave your comments. Tell us what you think about these chips. Be sure to clean them off before you play with them. You will get some poker chip factory dust on your fingers. Again, they're available at apachepokerchips.com. Go check them out. And in the comments, I want to start this discussion now. What is your favorite China clay? You know, like, for example, here are my, here's my pack of Pharaohs. Do you like the Pharaohs, the Majestics? Do you like the Dunes? Do you like the Milanos? Everybody, <laughs> cast your vote. Tell us what you think. Uh, as far as, you know, like, like I said, these are, these are very serviceable China clays. I like that we're giving more options here. And I would like to see uh, more like the Pharaohs where we have progressive edge spots as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. My name is John Hobby.